Hi everyone, welcome back to Paracord Planet. So you may have noticed that we have been doing a little renovation here at Paracord Planet, and today is the day that you could probably hear they're gonna be doing some demo work. So please bear with us as we do try and make this video for you this week. We got an awesome weave that we're gonna be doing with some construction. So for our weave today, we are going to be making the Flesh Crawl Weave. It's a very, very fun weave. I think you're going to enjoy it. And today we do have our lancing needle. We have 10 feet of 550 Imperial Red. We have 10 feet. <laughs> we have 10 feet of Electric Blue 550 Paracord. We're going to be using 15 feet of yellow 550 paracord that we already have set up on our jig ready to go with our four strand core and we do have our jig set to eight and a half inches as this is a little bit of a thicker weave so we want a little bit more length on our bracelet so it can fit around our wrist we also have our lighter and we have our scissors All right, so our first step is going to be taking the lancing needle and putting it on one end of the paracord that you would like to thread through the cow hitch that we have already ready to go with our buckle. So today we have our imperial red on the lancing needle. And again, so today we have the imperial red on the lancing needle. We're going to pierce it through the cow hitch on our inner strands. And if you need to, you can... If you need to, you can loosen up the cow hitch a little bit just by pulling up on uh, the overlapping knot. And we are going to do the exact same thing with our electric blue. So after we have our two paracord lanced through the cow hitch of our inner strands, we are going to begin the weave. And we're going to begin with the inner strand cords. So we're gonna take our yellow, and on the right working strand, we're gonna go over top of the first two inner cores and under the next two. So over two, under two. We're gonna make a little loop on the right side right there. And we're gonna do the same thing for the left working strand. So we're going to go over two and under two of our inner strands, having something that looks like that. So now at this point, you have to decide which colors you would like on the outside and which colors you would like on the inside. So for today, I think we have decided that blue is gonna go on the outside, red is going to go on the inside. So we're going to take our left working strand of our blue and the first thing we're gonna do is wrap it around the outer loop on the left side that we made with our yellow strands. And now we're gonna do the same thing with the right working strand for our electric blue. Take it, and we're gonna make the loop around the right side of the loop that we had made with the inner strands. And for both of these working strands, we want the strand to end on the outside. And what I mean by that is we want both of them to be on the outside of the strand itself, the working strands. Now it's time to move over to our Imperial Red. So for the first pass with our Imperial Red, we're going to loop it around the outermost and the innermost strands of our inner core. So we want the first pass to go right in between the leftmost and the left inner strand. I'm going to loop it right around there. Bring it through. And this time we want the strand to end on the inside of our weave. And we're gonna do the same thing with our right working strand for our Imperial Red. We're going to go in between the outermost strand and the right inner strand. And again, we want it ending on the inside. So at this point, you should have something that looks like this. For our next step, we're gonna grab the two outer cords of our yellow, and we're going to pull. And you're gonna see that it's going to cinch up our knots here. And if you did follow us on our Tao Tao Falls weave, 
Uh, we're going to be doing the exact same process. So we are going to be pulling a little bit on the inner strands, and then we're going to pull the knots tighter before we tighten everything down. So as we're starting to do that, as we're starting to tighten the yellow. And I do find it a whole lot easier if you push down on the weave itself and push up on the working strand. Get a nice tight loop around that middle. So for our second pass, it's going to be the same setup, just with a little different design with the loops that we'll be making with the red and our blue paracord. But as far as the yellow inner strands go, we want to set it up exactly the same way. We want to go over two and then under two while keeping a little bit of a loop on each side. So for the blue strand, the left working strand, we're gonna do something just a little bit different to give it a little bit of a different design as we make the weave down. For our second pass, we're actually going to loop it from the middle of the leftmost outer strand and the leftmost inner strand, and we're going to bring it back around through the loop that we had made with our yellow cord and back to the outside of our core strands. So then that way, whenever we cinch close our yellow paracord, it'll give our blue paracord a more definitive angle on the side. And we're going to do the exact same thing with our right blue working strand as well. We're gonna bring it through the rightmost inner strand and the right inner strand, through those, and bring it back through the loop towards the outside of our weave. And again, that'll give it a more definitive slant on the outside. Now we're going to do the same thing with our red inner strands as well. So to give it more of a definitive slant along the middle, we wanna go through the middle of our inner strands and we wanna come back out in between the left most inner strand and the left inner strand. So again, through the middle, and bringing it back up through the two left inner strands. And this we want our working strand on the outside this time. Same exact thing with the right working strand for our imperial red. Bring it through the middle and loop it to the inside of the right strands. So if you can see that there, it goes through the middle, comes back out between our two right strands. And again, we want this to be on the outside. All right, now it's time to start cinching our yellow paracord. So just like before, we're gonna tighten up the yellow strands, not all the way, keep it just a little bit looser so that you can still pull on our inner working strands here. And as I'm doing that, I'm pushing down on the weave and pushing up on the working strand. Get it nice and tight through there. And after the second pass, you'll actually see the design that we are gonna be making very clear. We're gonna bring our working strands back up. And at this point, we have completed one successful pass of our weave. So we're going to continue on with the weave, doing the exact same thing as when we started. And as we get about halfway done, we'll show you what the pattern starts to look like. about halfway done with the weave and as you can see it does have a distinct pattern of slanting in the middle and then being straight on the side and if you just follow that weave all the way down to the bottom it will continue on its way and we'll come back to the video when we get to the end to show you how we're gonna finish off the bracelet 
All right, so here we are at the end of our weave, and we are just where we started with our yellow core strand going over top of the two, and then under the last two, and then the same for the left working yellow strand as well. And here's how we're going to finish off this weave. So with our yellow core strand, we're actually going to make those tighter so that they sit just like this, but we brought them through so that they're sitting in the back so when we cut and burn, everything on the bracelet. So that everything on the bracelet finishes in the back. So to finish off our red and blue working strands, we're going to continue the weave. We're just not going to loop it around the yellow strand anymore. We're just going to finish it in the back again so we can cut and singe everything in the back. So there we have our completed flesh crawl bracelet. Uh, I would say that this is a little bit of an intermediate weave. So here we have our completed flesh crawl weave. I would say that this is uh, about an intermediate weave, but it is a lot of fun to do. And once you do get the pattern down, uh, I think it looks really, really cool. Again, you can use any colors that you would like to, but three being needed for this particular weave. And again, it is a little bit on the thicker side, so we did make it uh, eight and a half inches, which still, still, still a little snug. So you might actually want to go to nine, nine and a half inches. Um, but this eight and a half here, I'm a little, I'm a little thin, so it should be okay. So thank you guys so much for checking out the video and bearing with us a little bit as we do uh, start and complete the construction here at our office. Uh, and a big thank you to the uh, person who did make this weave. The link will be in the description below if you do want to check out all the creations that they have made on their channel. Uh, but a big thank you to them. I really loved how this weave turned out. If this video did help you, a like and subscribe is always appreciated. And of course, anything you want to see on a future video, please just let us know in the comments below. It's the best way for you to reach us here at Paracord Planet. Thank you all for checking out the video and have yourself a great day.